Hi, welcome to clickmyproject.com. The title of our project is SMS spam reduction using non content features. Now let's see the abstract of this place. Short message service text message are indisciplinable in our lives today. But along with the convenience of using SMS messages in our daily lives, we also face a serious problem caused by SMS spamming. In this article, we explore a server-side solution to use graph data mining in finding out spammers from non-spammers. An important issue is whether we can detect spammers the contentless futures. Using a real-world dataset from a large telecommunication operator in China, we examine the effectiveness of various contextless futures that range from network and to time-oriented categories. We find that some individually appealing features are in fact not very effective, whereas a combination of temporal and network features can be very useful in training high performance classifiers for spammer detection. Now let's see the flow diagram of its project. We are deploy this application in server side like uh, service provider like such as Airtel, Aircel, that side we are deploying our applications. From send SMS, this send SMS phase, user send their SMS to their friends or relatives, some recipients. Okay. This send SMS are goes to the base station and also it goes to the service provider side. In service provider side, they check the status of the user. That means they consider the three features like static features, temporal features and network features. Static feature in the sense how many SMS he will send in that particular day. Okay. Then in temporal future it will check the in particular time how many SMS he or she will send the SMS to the recipients. In network features how many recipients are in a particular one SMS. Okay. If any one of the features exceeding the maximum level it denies the sender of SMS. Okay. If if three features are not exist the maximum level in the sense it allow user to send the SMS to the receiver. Okay. Then allow the user to send the SMS. If the three features are not exceeding the limit, then the SMS is received on client side. This application should be deployed in class server side, not in client side. Now let's see the brief project demo explanation. In this project, there is three features are very important. First one is static feature, and second one is temporal features, and third one is network features. Okay. Before uh, deploying these three features, we have to do the basic things to send SMS and receive SMS. Click send a SMS. If you are running in a mobile, if you are running in a real device in the sense you are entering the mobile phone to the recipient space here okay if you are running in the emulator means type the emulator port number 556 and enter the message hi and click send the sms has been sent now to receive our sms in our application we have to wrote a broadcast receiver in our application then only we can receive any sms for our application if we are not declaring the broadcast receiver in the sun, it only receives in the normal messaging applications alone. We can't take the received SMS in our application. So, in order to take the received application in our application, we need to enable the broadcast receiver. For that, we are entering the broadcast receiver. This broadcast receiver is automatically start when the device is start up the application. Then SMS counting. It will show the SMS count. So now we are sending one SMS. So total number of SMS sent and received count is one. Number of send SMS count is one alone. And number of received SMS is zero. Okay. Now in static feature, we have to set up the limit for the user. This limit are set by the service provider not a user application we are developing the application in user side and deploy it in a service provider so this application should run on service provider side not in client side okay 
we have to run this application in service provider like a try application it will very useful to provide to prevent the spammers from non spammers number the enter the sms allowed to send is type 1 and sms size is 1 and click save data the settings has been saved successfully now send the another sms enter the number 556 sorry enter the number 556 and sms hi click send in sense it will show the blocked sms because we are applying that only one sms is sent by the particular user not only the particular user overall user can send only one sms alone so if you are sending any sms after that means it doesn't allow the any users okay. in temporal user this is a major application this is a major features in our application temporal future in temporal future it consists of three factors one first one is the number of sms sent today after that size of SMS sent today because no more number of MMS are received rapidly through a anonymous number so we have to check the size of SMS too then time of day the time of day is a main feature in a to identify the spammers from the non spammers why because means in time of day the particular time only spammers send the more SMS than normal time for example in our paper they mentioned that 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. and also morning 8 p.m. morning 8 a.m. to 12 a.m. the spammers send more SMS in particular day in particular time. So we have to calculate the time they send how many SMS they send in a particular date. Okay, click send SMS today. Num only one SMS is sent by the user. After that, size of SMS is total SMS three. That means number of size length. Then time of day in time of day they send the zero SMS so we can predict that he is a non spammer in these features only we can detect that the, the user is whether the user is spammer or non spammer in network features it allows the network coefficient okay in this we can send the multiple number of SMS to the multiple clients number of recipients is two in the sense click submit that the settings has been saved successfully if you are entering more than two in the sense five five six space five five eight space five 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 then uh, send a sms is hello and click send sms means the sms is blocked Big first one is the number of sms sent today is only one only we are setting in the static which so then only it is blocked if we change the SMS into number of SMS 2 and size is 1 and save data the city has been saved successfully now go to the network feature we are already enter the number of recipients to send enter the multiple number 556 five, 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 space 5558 space 5558 hello click send sms it will show you are not allowed to the send sms to maximum number of recipients because we are setting that only two number of recipients can send in at a time so here we are checking that only three recipients are allowed so delete the number and send sms block this as this application is very useful while applying the try application okay. thank you for watching thank you